Now this video is about what's coming and how they do it and, and how they govern us. They govern us by fear. They cannot spend billions of dollars on the military unless they produce a boogeyman, an enemy. And when they're not doing that, they're creating other things I call fear porn, like the fear porn of aliens and the fear porn of asteroids. Now, if you want to know how indoctrinated and brainwashed you are, here's how. If you believe there's 100-ton rocks whizzing around above your head in a infinite vacuum universe billions of light years across, then you are highly brainwashed and suffering hypnosis. And this occurred because you were trained to instantaneously believe everything you are told, which is always backed up by Google and Wikipedia. Now, I'm here to tell you the truth. All right? There are no such things as aliens from other worlds that can travel here within an infinite vacuum universe, billions of light years wide and across. Okay? One light year is almost six trillion miles. That's just one single light year. And we are taught that the observable universe is 36 billion light years across. Okay, the 36, that's 666. I'm not going to go into the other versions of 666 that they base the globe Earth uh, measurements and, and, and uh, mechanics on 666. It's all 666. Look at my other videos, you'll see. And out there on the net, many people cover it. Okay. A trillion seconds, which at first when I heard it, I was like, eh, that's not, what, what is that, nine months, uh, a year? No. A trillion seconds would take over 30,000 years to go by if you started now. Okay, and that's just a trillion seconds. Do you know how much, how more enormous a trillion miles would be, let alone six trillion miles in one light year? Then we have 36 billion light years that they say is an, uh, an available volume of space area for matter to fit in above our heads. And there are 100 ton rocks whizzing around and little ones like bullets whizzing all around. So they govern us with fear, okay? And they back it up with propaganda. They take these high-altitude cargo planes and they release big, big balls or whatever shape they have these incendiaries, incendiaries in and drop them out. And they have camera crews on the ground and people get them with their uh, doorbell cameras and they stick it on the news. Okay, and that's how they propagate propaganda. And aliens, there are no such things as aliens coming here from other worlds. If there were aliens from other worlds, they would be coming here for two reasons and two reasons only. The first reason would be to destroy us. The second reason would be to help us. We have not been destroyed. We remain if they were coming to help us, they would know, have enough uh, superior intellect, that our number one problem is our world governments who govern us by fear in the pursuit of power, greed, and prestige, and tenor, and things like that. They would identify that immediately. If the earth was a big ball, they could go orbit the big ball or the moon and quickly determine what our problems are. And they would not let the leaders in our government dictate when they could appear, when they could help. They would not allow them to do anything. They would simply come appear and help. And that hasn't happened. Now, that is not the only reasons. But, now, don't get it misunderstood. Their plan is to produce aliens and to say we are being visited by aliens, 
Or they might even say, here's an alien that's been helping us, and this is where some of your technology comes from, which is a lie. Okay, if that happens, and I believe it will at some point, after all this other stuff that's going on is over, which ain't going to be for a while, they will produce demonic entities that will impersonate aliens. All you Christians, you should know that Satan goes about as a roaring lion, seeking those he may consume and deceive. All right? So these spiritual demonic entities will impersonate aliens. And the only way I can figure out how they could do that in the physical form is if man, man has been, been experimenting in laboratories, mixing animal genome and human genome and creating abominations in the pursuit, or this is the cover story, in the pursuit to heal the human body, to get eagle vision or grizzly bear type strength like you see in Cap Captain America being modified. That's real, okay? A lot of stuff in Hollywood they show us is real and there's a lot of truth in plain sight. Like on The Simpsons funny stupid cartoon when I think it's Homer hits the baseball and it goes up and cracks the ceiling of the sky and all the water comes down. That's because that's your true reality and is what is described in the Bible. That there, the waters above the firmament or our sky are waters. They are not an infinite vacuum universe that goes on forever infinite. Nothing can be infinite in a three-dimensional physical reality of matter because of entropy. Okay, everything decays breaks down, erodes, corrodes, rusts, and falls apart. Nothing can be infinite or eternal in a three-dimensional physical reality. Now, God, who created this world, is outside of this reality in what I believe is the fourth dimension, outside of our three-dimensional physical reality of up, down, and with, where physical matter can move in any direction. Okay? So nothing can be forever, and that's why they created this area above our heads to then teach things that cannot be demonstrated on the earth at sea level on the ground or at altitude on a mountain. They cannot be demonstrated, so they invented a place too big and too far away for anyone in, on an individual manner to verify. And I tell you now, something you're being told is either a fact or a theory. And most of the things we believe to be fact about the earth is based on theories that they teach as fact. Facts can always be verified, understood, and demonstrated. Theories cannot be demonstrated or verified. That's why they are a theory. But they withhold that part from you when they teach you about evolution or the Big Bang or gravity. All three theories. All three. Google it if you must. But that's the fact. They will produce aliens and they will continue to govern us and hoard us into the cities through the fear porn of asteroids and aliens okay and I wonder what this alien will look like it will probably be the mix of an animal and a man an abomination what the Bible would call an abomination, indwelt and possessed by a demon. All the false gods that the Bible references that God tells his people to stay away from, Molech, Dagon, um, that they were sacrificing their firstborns to Molech, burning them. These, these false demonic entities that were thrown out of heaven impersonated these false gods. Like in Egypt, when Moses went before Pharaoh and told Pharaoh, let my people go. And Moses threw a staff down and it turned into two snakes. Uh, yeah, two snakes, I believe. Or one snake, forgive me. And, and, and then Pharaoh's uh, magicians came and threw a staff down too and created a couple snakes. But Moses' snake consumed the other two. So these things called enchantments, I believe, exist. And they are driven by the false demonic demonic entities that were thrown out of heaven. 
and Satan goes about as a roaring lion seeking those he may consume. That's why everything that's going on now is going on. It is for a reason. It is not happenstance. This is all planned agenda. A new world order. A new world order where man is governed by one organization that they will say is just. No more countries, no more borders, no more I'm, I'm from Poland, I'm from America, I'm from Italy, I'm from Puerto Rico. No, you are a citizen, you are a earthling of the earth. That's what they want. They're trying to repeat the Tower of Babel. And what happened? God came down and straightened them out and dispersed them, just like gas disperses in all directions at high velocity. That's what happened. God dispersed them. Okay, so these people, before or during and after World War II, they were creating all manner of abomination in laboratories. And they were probably successful with a lot of it. And there's, there's things on this earth you would not recognize. If you've seen it, you would surely believe it was an alien. And when they tell you it's an alien, you will believe it. Most of you, I will not. I absolutely will not believe this. And, and then they're going to govern you with asteroids. These aliens might even show up saying they got to save us from a, an asteroid. That's why they're doing the propaganda now about sending a missile to an asteroid that they say is some, some uh, one year or two years away. Then on the other side, they say, well, we can't detect them all. They could just show up out of nowhere. These people are liars. When you scrutinize these things we're taught, you find out that it's one theory after another. Okay? They will, like I said, they throw incendiaries out of high-altitude cargo planes. The same way they throw a capsule out and a parachute opens and it lands and you think it came from outer space. It did not. It came from a high-altitude cargo plane. People are so entertained. That's all you have to do to deceive someone is entertain them. And they will believe. You don't even understand that the science fiction space movies we watch, not only are they entertaining you, they're teaching you. Because whatever comes out in a movie, within a year or so, they'll be claiming it's real. Like the movie The Wandering Earth. I watched it. I still watch space movies. I know they're fake, but they're entertaining. Like I said, that's what they use, entertainment to deliver propaganda. And the star, the sun, they call the sun a star. It's not a star, it's our sun. It was burning out, so the earthlings had to find a new star. And they slapped a steering wheel on the earth and flew the earth to a new star, light years away, tr trillions of miles. And what happens a couple years later, per a Fox and CNN news article, science wants to move the Earth, the Sun, and the solar system, i.e. all the planets, fake planets, to another region in space to avoid killer asteroids. No, this is science fiction they copied from the movie The Wandering Earth. Okay, they will employ laser-like weapons that they use to start forest fires in many areas in the earth, and, 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 and these wildfires, and hypersonic missiles equipped with tracer lights to simulate asteroids that will hit strategic areas, and they'll blame it on the asteroid. Right now, if the news came on, it's Saturday, and they said Monday morning at 2 p.m. an asteroid is going to hit in New York, and then Monday morning rolls around, and at 2.30 it hit, They'd say it was a half an hour late and blame all the damage on an asteroid when it was, in fact, a hypersonic missile. The area was cordoned off. Any missile debris was found and eliminated. And everyone believes an um, asteroid hit the Earth. You would all believe it. Most of you, yes, you would. People would be saying, see, see, there are asteroids. See, you people are suffering hypnosis. I wish I had more time to go in the house. Outer space is fake. It can't be an infinite vacuum universe because all the air and gas that we have on the Earth would, at high velocity, disperse in all the directions and fill the available volume of an infinite vacuum universe 
36 billion light years wide. Just like it does on Earth, gas and oxygen always fill the available volume of a vacuum. When the gas and oxygen is introduced to the vacuum, the gas and oxygen go into the vacuum without fail. That is what's demonstrable. But they want you to believe that this big giant ball is covered in gas and oxygen on its outside perimeters and that uh, it's surrounded within an infinite vacuum universe and it's all cool and equilibrium and they behave and stay on their own sides of some invis invisible line. That's ridiculous. Remember that asteroids are fake. Aliens are not from other worlds. They are demonic entities impersonating aliens. Demonic spirits possessing the bodies of man-made abominations created in laboratories for the last hundred years. Mix an animal and human genome together. Terrible, terrible times we live in, but exciting if you know the truth. Because you can, you can know, you can predict what these people are doing because they tell you. All you got to do is turn on the TV at 6.30 and they'll tell you.